Hello, today we'll be building off previous videos where we talked about aerials and air dribbles. Now that we have that down, we're going to want to start to implement air roll, which is a vital tool for advanced mechanics and mastering it can create different angles for shots and passes. However, overusing air roll can actually make you slower the ball, so we'll definitely take a look at an example of that later in the video and how to avoid it. It's important to note that there isn't just a quick way to master air rolling. The best thing you can do is understand it and then get it down through practice and reflecting on your mistakes. With that being said, let's focus on how we can train air roll. So in order to practice and train our air roll, we're going to want to head over to training. We're going to go into free play and we're going to switch over to the pillars map, which is going to be really useful because we can kind of move around obstacles. So once you have the pillars map, just load into that and we'll go from there. We first have to understand that Rocket League has two types of air roll available. We have regular air roll and we have directional air roll. Regular air roll is bound to shift. And what has to happen is you have to press shift and press A or D. So if I double jump and press shift, I also have to press A to rotate to the left. Or I double jump and press D and shift and that allows me to rotate to the right. That's going to be good for things like speed flips where you need to flip cancel um, in order to get to the ball faster. And then we have our other type of air roll which is going to give us a little bit more control in the air, which is directional air roll. So now when I double jump, all I have to press is Q or E. And that allows me to rotate my car to the left or right and leave my A and D keys available so that I can also turn to the left and right. It's important to note that air rolling and turning are different. So what that does is now when I'm in the air, I can air roll and I can turn. So you can press S and D at the same time as air rolling uh, with the left. And now I have a little bit more control in the air. So our air roll practice kind of has three or four levels to it. So we're going to start first level and make our way up. So first level is going to be just double jumping, pointing your nose forward a little bit and holding your directional air roll. So I'm going to double jump. I'm going to point my car forward. And I'm just going to hold my directional air roll. And those are the only buttons I'm going to press. And as I get close to the turning point, I'm going to let go of my air roll, reorient myself and let myself drop and then set myself up. And I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm just going to hold my air roll and we're just trying to get comfortable with this. This might take you a few tries and that's okay and make our way fully around. Now this is the longest portion. So we hold our air roll and we just go straight. And then once we get here, we drop. Once we have that down and we've done that a couple times and we're comfortable, we can move on and not let ourselves drop to the ground at all. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to double jump and boost forward and then I'm going to air roll. And as I get to this turning point over here, I'm going to stop air rolling, just get myself under control without any air roll, rotate a little bit to reorient myself, and then make my way in this direction. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to stop air rolling, reorient myself with a little bit of air roll here, turn my ball cam on and off so I can reorient my camera and do the exact same thing again and just make our way back to the start. And we want to be able to do that quickly and then we can finally move on to the third step. So for the final step, we are not going to stop air rolling. And this is where it becomes a little bit trickier because we also have to be pressing uh, our A, S, or D keys, depending on uh, if we're air rolling left or right. And this is where I can't just tell you, oh, do this and it's going to work. It's going to be something that you got to go in there. You got to fall to the ground, practice, reflect, and go from there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to double jump, boost up, and now we're going to hold our air roll while also using our S and D keys a little bit when you're air rolling to the left. If you're air rolling to the right, you'll use S and A. And now I don't have to stop. I can just keep air rolling and just tap my D key and start making my way over here. And then once I get over here, I do the exact same thing and I make my way back to the start. And this will be your kind of final step. And we'll want to practice that a few times. And then when we're comfortable with that, we can move on to kind of our final test or just the final thing you'll you'll do in terms of practice on this map before using something like a workshop map. The final thing that we can do is once we're comfortable, we can kind of just make our way around the map as we want. So now we can just practice going around here. And then instead of going back to the start, maybe we do a zigzag. So we move across and we go back here. And now I make my way around this pillar. And now you kind of have the freedom to do whatever you want. And it might not look this smooth and that's completely okay. We want to build up to that point, but just make our way around the map and practice not hitting anything and just kind of going around these pillars. Um, and this will be kind of your final step before you go into the rings map is we want to be comfortable doing something like this and doing it without really stopping. You can see, I'm constantly pressing my boots for the most part. I'm tapping occasionally and I'm holding down my air roll. That's the most important thing. And once we're ready, and we're comfortable doing this, we can finally hop into a workshop map where it'll be a little bit more difficult and we got to go through obstacles.
After completing training through free play and using the pillars map, we can kind of move on to this last um, practice, which is going to be a workshop map. So we can head over to workshop maps and I'm going to use Lethemir's giant rings. However, if you'd like to use something else, that's totally fine. Look up on uh, the Steam Workshop map, just rings, and you'll see a ton of different ones that'll pop up, and you can pick from there. So now that we're in here, we're going to kind of want to restart the process of what we did earlier, but in rings. So what we can do is we could try finishing the map like this, where I just air roll in a straight line like this. And whenever I need to get to a turn or something like that, I could maybe let go of my air roll, realign myself, and then air roll again. That's one way of practicing. And then once you're comfortable doing that you can move on to the next level which is air rolling kind of the entire time but if you want you can just skip straight to what i'm doing right now which is just going through the rings pressing my air roll the entire time and using my s and d keys alongside that or if i'm rotating to the right then using my a and s keys instead but this is kind of your final level because now you're going to be working through obstacles and mastering your your car control in the air and while you're not going to air roll the entire time whenever you're going for aerials it is still important to be able to control your car, dodge obstacles, and kind of get yourself around these obstacles, which is useful when we want to go for things like flip resets or double taps. So here we're looking at a replay from the grand finals of the Fall Major in Sweden, uh, BDS versus NRG, and we're looking at Monkey Moon versus Justin and how they air roll and how that causes them to get to the ball or get beat to the ball. So here we're going to see that Monkey Moon, when he aerials, he's aerialing straight towards the play. And he's going to use a tiny bit of air roll to reorient himself, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Just a tiny bit of air roll to reorient ourselves. So here, now he's facing the ball, and he's going to be able to get a good touch. And he's very close to the ceiling, but he's only used 43 boosts, and he gets a pretty easy beast, a beat on Squishy here. Now, looking at it from Squishy's perspective there is a big reason why he wasn't able to get a 50 or maybe even a dunk on this play and we're going to take a look at that so first things first when he aerials he is not jumping towards the ball if we take a look here he's jumping and he is boosting in this direction which is not up towards the ball compared to monkey moon who we can see over here is boosting pretty much up towards the ball and that's what we want and because he's air rolling he's actually ending up air rolling in the wrong direction, which isn't good. We don't want that. And now as we keep going, you're going to see that he is still not air rolling towards the ball. It's a bit closer, but it's not exact. If we look at it from this perspective, Squishy is boosting in this direction, which is making him slower to the ball, while Monkey Moon is boosting up towards the ball. So that's another reason why air roll can make you slower to the ball, is if you are air rolling too much, your, your nose is not always going to be pointing towards the ball sometimes it sometimes your boost might be turning this way sometimes it might be even boosting down and because of that you're going to be slower to the ball and you're actually going to use more boost so if we go back to squishy's perspective here he's not really facing the ball yet now he's starting to face the ball but not completely and by now when he's facing the ball it's too late monkey moon has already beat him to the ball so this is a great example of why we don't want to overuse air roll because it actually makes us slower to the play because it, our nose is not always pointing towards the ball, which can make us slower as it's boosting in different directions, not directly towards the play. So that in general sums up uh, air rolling in terms of air rolling during aerials. Um, the best thing that you can do is practice using the strategies that I gave you, practice in free play, and then after that go into workshop maps or or uh, training packs of practice there. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or join my Discord and you can ask me questions there and I'll probably respond a little bit faster. And you, I also do challenges and giveaways in the Discord for uh, replay analysis and free coaching lessons. And I will also be streaming uh, in the next month or so. So definitely join my Discord, which I'll link in the comments below.